first search for java jdk then click on this link java is c downloads then click on this icon java platform jdk then in this window you can see the exec file for windows 64 bit so we need to download this jdk windows 64.exe file to download this first we need to accept license agreement click on that then click on this link so you can see that it started downloading so i already downloaded this file so i am going to cancel it so let me go to downloads folder so this is the file which i downloaded jdk windows 64.exe let me double click on that then click on yes then select next select next So destination folder is C program files Java JRE 1.865. So let me. So I am going to leave the default destination. Then let me click on next. So now it's installing Java. So Java JDK successfully installed let me close this window then I am going to verify the installation open command prompt and type java c and enter so you are seeing an error message java c is not recognized as an internal or external command this means uh, we haven't set path environment variable so we need to set the path environment variable so we can do it like this click on this icon this pc icon double click uh, sorry right click then select property then select advanced system settings then here you can see environment variables click on that then in this path we need to add jdk bin folder so let me find where is where we installed jdk go to c program files then java jdk bin so this path we need to add there copy this path then select this line and do edit and put a colon semicolon then paste that path okay then okay click okay okay now if you type java c here you will get the same error so we need to close this window and open the command prompt again then type 
Java C. Java C. See, now it's working. Similarly, here in environment variable, we can create the environment new environment variables like uh, class path, and we can give the path like lib. So we can see the lib path there in JDK lib. So this path we can give there class path. So class path is created. So we can also create Java form. Java underscore form. And we can give this path there. So this way we can create path, path variable, Java home variable and class path variable. Okay. Okay. So now you can start write your first Java program. So this way we can install Java in your Windows 10 operating system. Okay.